I'm gonna show you a build that's really broken right now. This build does way more damage than basically anything. And it works especially well on large hitboxes, like the hitboxes of bosses. Even for small enemies though, most small enemies you're just going to nuke them and instantly kill them as soon as you attack. On top of that, the damage comes from a ranged attack that has pretty big AoE. So it turns most of the game easy mode. Right now I'm fighting Bale the Dread, and as you can tell, I don't really know how to fight Bale the Dread. But I just get carried really hard by this build. And I'm pretty sure this amount of damage is just a dev oversight, so I almost guarantee that this is going to get patched and nerfed. I would say enjoy it while it lasts though. Let's get into what the build is and where to get all of the items. The part of this build that you absolutely have to have to make it work is the Rolling Sparks Ash of War. Aside from that, you're going to need one of the perfume bottles. I believe all of the perfume bottles work really well with this. So whether you have the Frenzied Flame one or the Fire one, those will work as well. We're going to be using the Lightning Perfume bottle though. Your build will change a little bit based on which perfume bottle you choose. As for armor, you can choose a helmet that has an effect you want. Aside from that, armor is not really that important to the build. Getting into the talisman, Perfumer's Talisman increases your Rolling Spark Sash of War damage by 20%. Since I'm using the Lightning Bottle, I'm using the Lightning Scorpion Charm, and that's going to raise Lightning Attack. You can use the Fire Scorpion Charm if you have the Fire Perfumer's Bottle. I don't think that there's an equivalent for the Frenzied Flame Perfume Bottle. The third talisman slot, I have Shard of Alexander. That's going to increase the attack power of Rolling Sparks again. And then the final slot, I would say just fill it with something you want. I have this blue dancer charm, but really I would rather have the ritual sword talisman, which increases my attack when my HP is at its maximum. It's not really that important to the build though, so I didn't go out of my way to get it. I would say just fill this last slot with whatever you want. And finally in my physic, I have the lightning shrouding crack tier that boosts lightning attacks, and the stone barb crack tier makes stance breaking easier. I'll just have to show you on the map where to get the lightning shrouding crack tier and the stone barb crack tier. Lightning shrouding crack tier comes from a minor er tree that you have to kill. It's to the east of mausoleum compound. This is northeast of Lierni of the lakes. The stone barb crack tier comes from the minor er tree just to the south of dragon barrow cave and you can see the tree on the map. This is in Kaled. The Lightning Scorpion Charm comes from the Windham Catacombs, which is right here on the map. This is in the base game. You're going to need a Stone Sword key for this too. And from this side of Grace, we're going to head to the north. You're going to take it right here. And we need to take this lift down. Watch out for that trap, by the way. There's a pressure plate right in the middle of the hallway. head to the east and watch out for this guillotine trap I'm just going to avoid these imps Go through here and once you reach this area with all the zombies you need to take a right we need to get past this guy didn't go very well. We need to climb this ladder. Watch the imp on the ceiling and the trap I just walked on. Right there. Then you're going to need to use your stone sword key right here. And it'll unlock this fog door. You can walk in and the Lightning Scorpion Charm is going to be right here on this sarcophagus. And for the Shard of Alexander, you have to finish Iron Fist Alexander's quest line. Something I want to emphasize is don't feel pressed if you don't want to go back in the base game and get Lightning Scorpion Charm, the Physic, or the Shard of Alexander. Out of all those things, the Lightning Shrouding Crack tier is going to bring the most to the table for how easy it is to get. But even without any of these, this build still works and is still OP. These just enhance the build by a pretty decent amount. And now I'll move on to actually walking you through how to get the rest of the build. 
for the perfumer talisman we need to go to perfumer's ruins i'm going to be starting from unsightly catacombs which is here on the map in the base game you can also get here from Erdtree Grazing Hill if you follow the path like this. We're going to go outside the catacombs though. And basically we just need to go up this hill and to the ruins. Go east. Up around this. And go up in the ruins. Climb up here. And up on this top area next to the big flower, there are some wood panels that you can walk through. Go down here. Open this door. Inside of this treasure chest is the Perfumer's Talisman. And that's right here on the map. For the Lightning Perfume Bottle, we're going to be starting at Cerulean Coast Site of Grace, which is here on the map. This is in Shadow of the Earth Tree. If you haven't been to Cerulean Coast, I'll link in the description at the very top how to get to Cerulean Coast. From here, we're going to get on our horse and head north. And just to avoid this fire golem, I am going to hug the wall and the boundary here, kind of go up against the edge of this waterfall. Keep heading north, northeast. And once you're across the river, you'll see a golden sheep rolling around. Just head to the north. And in this area with all the fulgur blooms, this is where you're going to find the lightning perfume bottle. It's on a body right here. So there's the lightning perfume bottle. That's here on the map. And finally, for the rolling sparks ash of war, close to Sight of Grace's shadow keep main gate is here on the map. You can also get here by going north from High Road Cross. And you're going to need a ranged weapon to get this one. From Shadow Keep Main Gate, we're going to head down the lift. Once we're at the bottom of the lift, we're going to get on our horse. Then we're going to head to the south. And you'll see an enemy camp. And if you look kind of southeast, you'll be able to see a beetle up in the air at the very top of this platform area. And there will be perfumers here too attacking. So we're going to climb up here. And we just need to take out this beetle. And that is how you get the Ash of War Rolling Sparks. And that is right here on the map. That's everything you need for the build. Feel free to like and subscribe and enjoy this build while it still works because I have a feeling Rolling Sparks is going to get nerfed to the ground.